Hi, I'm Dan Barrera, and we're gonna take a quick overview of the Lantec 4 user interface. Lantec 4 features a capacitive touchscreen display, so we have the tester powered on. So first, let's look at the main LED at the bottom. So this indicates the power status of the tester as well as the charging condition. So white means that the tester is powered on. If I had it plugged in and the battery was charging, it would be white with an intermittent green flash. Uh, when the battery is fully charged, it's just solid white when it's turned on. When the battery is low, we would get white with an intermittent red flash. And when it's critically low, it would turn solid red and ultimately the tester would power itself off uh, when the battery is too low to operate, uh, preserving any stored data. When the tester is powered off, the LED will just flash green when it's charging and the tester is in the off condition. So moving on to the user interface, at the very top of the screen, we have a folder icon with a test count. So we can store up to 2,500 tests uh, of any type. Doesn't matter what category type, whether it's copper or fiber, it's a total of 2,500 tests uh, with graphic data and everything else that can be performed. We have the Wi-Fi status indicator. So right now it shows that it's crossed out, meaning the Wi-Fi is not connected. Uh, the battery status of the main handset with the percentage and the current uh, time. Now, when the two units are connected together, we would see two battery uh, icons and percentages. So one would be for the main handset and the second would be for the remote handset and that would appear in brackets. So when they are connected by a link, the remote handset is communicating its battery status uh, back to the main. On the remote, we do have the same power indicator and the low battery and charging indication, uh, but you don't have a percentage status. You would only know if the battery is getting low, but again, the percentage is uh, shown on the display when they are connected. The blue bar that has logo um, will show when we're at the home screen and other screens, there would be a back arrow that you could push to take you back to the previous page, or you can operate directly by pushing the back arrow. We have a question mark for help, so that will give us help. The gear icon is our preferences menu, which we'll go into some detail in a bit. And in this particular operating mode that we're in, which is called the standard user interface, if we had just performed a test, it would give us the ID and status of the test that was just run. Here it's showing us the name that is uh, going to be used for the next test. And the tester is not connected right now, but if it were connected, the test icon here would be blue, indicating that we have a connection and a test can be performed. Down here are the job settings. So the job shows the name of the job that if we were to test right now, uh, the test would be saved into. So the current job that's selected is called training. If I wanted to change that, I would just tap the little search icon and then choose one of these other jobs. So let's say I wanna select project one and tap that, it becomes blue, and then tap the back icon and now project one is the currently selected job. The test configuration is shown here. This gives us uh, an overview. If I wanna change it, I can tap on that. And here are all of my options for uh, setting up that test. Won't go into all the detail right now. The operator, so currently the operator is Dan, which is me, but if I wanted to change it to a different operator, um, let's say John is going to be operating the tester, he, you would press and hold on John, do press set as active operator, and we'll go back. And now John is the current operator, or I can add a new person. So I can just hit the plus icon, uh, type in a name here, David, Sam, whomever, and uh, select the tick mark. And that would then add that new name to this list. So that would make sure that we record the person who's operating the tester for every test that's run. At the bottom here, we have the jobs uh, icon. So this takes us to our list of jobs. We can go in and view the test results. So if I click on project one, it's gonna show me the results um, in each of those, um, each test in that folder. If I go back, we also see this bar here. So this bar tells us um, in this one, it's all gray, meaning that there are no tests performed in that folder yet. On the second one, titled Wednesday, we see it's all green showing two tests and all of them are passed. The bottom one that's called project one 
shows that there's 24 tests and we can see that it's mostly gray with a little bit of red and a little bit of green. So that means there's a number of tests um, that are in this job that have been predefined and it looks like a couple have failed and a couple have passed. And as we go and work on completing this job, that number or that green bar hopefully will get larger as the number of pass tests increases. We can um, add new jobs here by hitting the plus icon. We can sort them by uh, date. Uh, so if I tap that, it will sort them in uh, one date order or reverse date order if I tap it again. Uh, we can sort alphabetically by tapping the A to Z icon um, or reverse alphabetically. Uh, this little list icon here lets me select multiple jobs. So let's say I wanted to delete all of them. I could click all of them and press delete, which I won't do now. Um, so we'll just close out of that function by hitting the X. And then lastly, we have the sync button. So sync will let us either download from the Anywhere Cloud or from a memory stick. So I can pre-configure jobs and bring them down into the tester. And then upload will let me send my completed results up to Anywhere Cloud via Wi-Fi um, or upload them to a memory stick. So I can ex attach a memory stick to the USB port, copy the results to that, and then import them um, from a computer into our Anywhere Cloud software or the Anywhere desktop software. So that completes a quick overview of the LandTech 4 user interface. Thank you for watching. I'm Dan Barrera.